Here's the business uh, investing strategies. After I show you this, there is no reason for you to not invest in real estate. Damn, Joe doesn't even know this information. Joe just knows how to buy a shit ton of real estate. Joe does, Joe joined this for this right here. Is that true, Joe? 100% true. <laughs> okay. Joe does not know all this, what I'm about to show you. But Joe can tell you how to leverage this. Joe, how many real estate investors are properly using business credit in real estate investing? Less than 10. Okay. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how much you really want this. We're okay. going to leverage OPM, other people's money, to build wealth. Business credit is the major cheat code. Okay, he said less than 10%. I said over 75%, you know, whatever. Okay, so I guess it's less people than I know about. Nor are they familiar with business credit. It's overwhelming. I don't have a business. This is all this bullshit. You know, they don't know what they don't know. Okay, once you master building business credit, it's game over. So what are the types of business credit? Okay, we're not going to talk about business loans here, guys. We're going to talk about business credit cards and business lines of credit. We talk about the business loans, the SBA loans, the high income funding, all that type of stuff in my program. I do not have the bandwidth to talk about it. We've already been going like four hours, but I will go over the two sexy topics that all your favorite parrots talk about. Let me see the parrots in the chat. All right. What are the benefits of business credit? Business credit does not report to your personal credit. 90% doesn't. The ones that do, Capital One, TD Bank, I think Discover too. That's all I can think of, okay? Then you get three to five times higher the limits than your personal credit. And you're gonna be able to separate your business from your personal so you can get your ass sued off. Why? Because the moment that you have money, people are gonna try to sue your ass and pierce the corporate veil. If you don't have your accounting right, if you're commingling funds, if you don't have holding companies and asset protection, your ass is done. There is people that literally target rich people and just sue their ass off and have them pay a settlement. Tell me I'm wrong, Joe. No, 100% right. That's why we do a whole set, set on asset protection and LLC formation. You can even legally get business credit without owning a business. Let me show you how. Just apply for business credit cards as a sole proprietor. Leverage your personal credit. No funding company is needed. Interest-free loans. It's, it's, this is a difference. The personal business credit cards is 0%. They reported it to personal credit, right? They went against your, your utilization. These don't. So do not fall for these scams. Ready? Charging people 10 to 25% commission fees for applying for business credit cards is unethical. Amen? Yes or no? There's the parrots. So there's the parrots. Funding companies, you know, no name people that talk about million dollars in funding and 0% cards up to $250,000 in minutes. It's all 0% business credit cards that you can apply for yourself. You can learn it from me. You can learn it from Credit Plug and Herb Official and Mr. Credit Gems. Those would be the four influencers that I would recommend to you. They have the relationship managers that they call up the banker and they push the deal through. If underwriting comes back to them, they just do it all. This is the key to all these people getting these in cards at 75,000, this and that. They promise their relationship. We have relationship bankers in the program. How easy is it to get 0% business credit cards? Well, you can get one right now. Let's talk about it. What do you need in order to get 0% business credit cards? Not much at all. Business credit cards, what best places to get 0% credit cards? Let's show you. Well, for those of you that have American Express, you can go get one right now. Soft pull. You can max this thing out and it never hurts your score. Go I get you. Know, I did not know this until Dan told me. <laughs> okay. They can go to Nate. They can go to American Express, get the Blue Business Plus card or the Blue Business Cash. It does not hard pull them if they're a customer. If you're not, it'll be a hard pull from Experian. You can max it out. You can buy the program. But you have 12 months to pay for it. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Also, if you have American Express cards, you can do a credit allocation, meaning you can move your personal limits to your business cards. You can, if you have $30,000 on the personal side, you can call up Amex and say, I'd like to move this $30,000 limit to my business card. Your business card gets approved for $10,000. Now you have a $40,000 business card at 0%.
dude, that's going to be a game changer for somebody. And you can combine this with charge cards. There's so many card charge hacks I can't even put on here. There's, there's ways that you can. Oh, man, there's, there's some crazy hacks that have not been talked about and that people do not know about. We'll talk about that in the program. Plum card. This is one I really love for real estate investors and e-com because this does not have a preset spending limit. It's algorithmic. I can never say that word. But you can have a $100,000 limit on a plum card and basically spend $100,000 and you only have to pay 10,000 of it in 30 days and the rest of the 90,000 in 60 days. Meaning you have to pay 10% of the balance in 30 days and the, the remaining 90 and 60 days. So this is a really good bridge loan card. Because let's say, let's say that you got the DCU loan, right? And you don't have to make your first payment for 60 days. You don't start using this plum card to the moment you have to start making your payment from your loan, right? You got to be able to move the money around. Debt weapons are debt weapons. They all have their purpose in your quiver. Uh, we have a, Joe, you don't even know this, but we have a business banker from US Bank that joined our program and had no clue about business credit. Did you know that? I did not I know a, that. I have a business relationship banker that he texted me the other day when I was in Australia. And he just said, hey, listen, if you have any clients that need business funding, I can get them high limits on the business cards because I only work with the business cards. But go ahead, guys. Go, go ahead and apply in your applications. You'll get less limits because the business relationship bankers are the key. And I don't need any of your money. I just need you to invest in yourself and, and add a value to my community because other people are waiting for you to show up. 0% business credit cards. There's four of them with Bank of America, Joe. Four. These are the four. I didn't even know that. There's a secured business credit card that actually builds business credit. You guys didn't know that either. And I mean, you guys know about the four cards in your, in your business name. So I think there was a girl, Robin, I think her name was, she asked about how she could refinance her car. Go to Bank of America, open up a business account, right? And then refinance your car. Move it out of your personal name. Piece of cake, done in a day. This is Elon, okay? Not that Elon, okay? But this is the Elon at 0%. Chase business in cards and Elon financial cards are what every funding company is using right now, charging you 10 to 25%. So when they easily get you this massive amounts of funding that's so simple that I'm going to show you right now. They're literally taking advantage of people. Sad, man. This economy, no single mother deserves to pay $10,000 for them being able to apply for their own credit card. And if you think so, you don't have a heart and you're a horrible human. Business cards do not go against the 524 rule with Chase. Do this with a relationship banker. That's the way to do it, not online. The business relationship banker talks to underwriting directly and you can bypass the 524. So if you are 10, 24, you have 10 revolving lines of credit in the last 24 months, the business banker can bypass that with you. That's what they don't tell you. And they can submit that right to underwriting. And you can do a credit reallocation just like you could with American Express. Wait, Dan, they can do, you can do the... Chase, you can you can get around the Chase 524 rule by applying for a Chase business card? Yep, but these are only business cards. Business cards bypass the 524 rule, but it's got to be done with a relationship banker. Did not know that. And 0%. If you guys go in the Facebook group right now, this is probably going to be a parrot. So don't fall for the parrot shit, right? I'm going to have a shirt with parrot shit. Don't buy <laughs> the parrot shit. Let's see if you guys buy my t-shirt, okay? We got to get this message out about these freaking parrots. We have a parrot problem in the world, okay? It's a problem. And credit repair, is a, credit repair is the red parrot, funding parrots, the Verde parrot, okay? I woke up to this today. If you don't believe me, go into my own group. This gentleman, uh, Damon, he may be a parrot or he may be a person, I don't know. But he was approved this morning for one of my new businesses. This sounds like funding companies in my group. I got to go through and purge these termites, man. So hopefully he's a good human. Go check it out. You got 75K off that card, Joe. 0%. What could you do with that? Oh, baby. You're going to see it in a little bit. You understand that my group is so valuable that the funding companies and credit repair companies go ahead like leeches. We're going to kick them out, though. We're going to get rid of these jokers in the, in the Facebook group. Now that I'm hiring a team, get rid of them. 
so you can financially learn and grow without being manipulated and without being taken advantage of. You better watch out who you're talking to in the Facebook group because they may not be who they seem to be. These type of posts are usually to have people DM so that way they can have a consultation so that way they can sign them up for their funding program, their mentorship program and credit repair. These people don't just really offer this advice unless they're like a great human, humanitarian. And there's not a lot of us out here. Okay, so just be aware. Don't fall for the parachute. Okay, we got a lot more of that in the program. Let's talk about no doc, low doc programs. What is a no doc program? A no doc program is getting a business line of credit without having to give any documentation whatsoever. No profit and loss statements, no tax returns, nothing. Okay, there is credit unions, there is banks that will do it. You need to know the data points and what to apply for, when to apply for it, and which banks to apply with, and which relationship bankers would be great to work with. Some of them need that, some of them don't. Low doc programs are one year tax returns, three months bank statements. That's a low doc program. A full doc program, profit and loss statements, two years of tax returns, your, your, your kids, you know, DNA. Uh, your wife's social security number. I'm being facetious, of course, but they're going to ask for everything from you. So what is the easiest way to do real estate investing in 2023? It's not creative financing. It's BLOCKS. Mixed with creative financing. Not business credit cards, BLOCKS. Why? Because a BLOCK is a personal credit that doesn't report to your personal credit profile, which doesn't report your utilization, which doesn't drop your credit score. And you can get some big boy business lines of credit. Let's talk about it. Key things you got to know. No doc, low doc programs are disappearing fast due to the economic conditions, but they are still there. Gurus will tell you the uh, uh, due to the crazy money. Oh, the, basically, the, the this is huge, guys. They gatekeep this information because they want to sell you their age corporations to use these data points to get the massive amounts of high limit funding that they can. So they do the age corp game and they do the funding companies and they're protecting each other so that way they can get stupid rich off of people with the commission fees. This is what parrots do. They sell age corps and they do funding companies that do credit repair. They're all the same bastards. Every one of them. If you're a bastard on the call, sorry, you're a parrot. Be a good human, get a different job. Okay? No doc, low doc programs are the holy grail. And you do that again with relationship bankers. This right here is the Wells Fargo business line of credit. It's not what I made up. It's what's on the website. Okay. I got 65K. Hard pull from Experian. I'll take a hard pull for 65K. Would you? They didn't ask for one document. They're actually, actually asking me if I want a credit limit increase from it. You tell me. Soft pulls. It's right there, guys. Right there. Unsecured. You secure nothing. Tomorrow, you better be in the call because tomorrow we're talking about secured stuff and that's going to even get sexier than this stuff. You guys want to know more about that? I got two videos on how to watch it. Go watch it. Go leave a like. First Citizens Bank, you guys can go watch that video. I break down the data points. That's a no-doc program as well. But we have a ton more no-doc, low-doc programs that I'll be breaking down next month for everybody. Mentees get excited. You're going to be able to have that. Credit to cash methods. We have secret credit to cash tactics, but out of the respect for the mentees in this room, we will only talk about this within the program. But there are legal ways of doing this. There's many people that will tell you to invoice your friend and then trust that they invoice you. That doesn't work. People's merchant accounts are getting shut down. We have horror stories about people joining different parrot groups and telling people to liquidate their credit cards through QuickBooks. And what's the other one out there? Melio and cash app and paypal they're getting their merchant accounts shut down they're losing their credit cards they're getting three letter agencies calling them because when you're trying to liquidate cards and remember anything over ten thousand dollars is reported to the irs by the banks by the way that's called the secrecy act but there is a fine line between money laundering and manufacturer spending you better be careful what you're doing we will show you the right ways to do it and the legal ways to do it. You go to jail, you get caught up in all these different problems. The crazy thing, guys, is anybody can get out of prison, get on YouTube, 
regurgitate information and scam your ass. Tell me I'm lying. You know, there was a good prophet. You can call him the son of God. You can call him the prophet. You can call him the God man. He said, you will know them by their fruits. What, tr what fruit is that tree producing? I know I'm the cursing Christian. I curse like crazy. That's fine. I'm passionate. God loves me. Okay. But you're going to know people by their fruits. What's their consistency like? How have they shown up for other people? Rad, but you haven't been on YouTube in the last year. Yeah, because I've been taking care of my program and my mentees that paid me $1,500 that I've helped people 100,000 X their investment in more ways than one. You tell me. I'd be damned if I take people's money and don't deliver. I fucking deliver. Business funding. Experian. Here we go. We're going to a B-lock. We're going to get 50K, uh, 60K from Wells Fargo. I did it. You can do it. I'll tell you what I did, how much money I ran through the account. Then we're going to get a $50,000 Chase business card using a relationship banker. And we're going to use a $30,000 Amex Blue Business Plus card at 0%. Does everybody understand how I just got $140,000 using free hard pulls from Experian? Yes or no? Some people, because these report don't report to the credit, and this is up to you. I don't tell people how to be mor morale. I'm not the morale police out here. I'm just trying to get rid of the parrots, okay? But the bottom line is, is these do not report to your personal credit. So it's going to hard pull your personal credit, but it's not going to report these trade lines to your personal credit which means people get the funding for the business side and then they go wipe the inquiries and then they go for another round of funding in 30 days. So this could actually yeah. be 2X, 3X, 4X in six months. You can literally rank up $500,000 by doing that. So 140,000 business funding, three polls. You could wipe them and go for it again with three different banks. Here's business. Citizens Bank 50K, first Citizens Bank 50K. These are B locks. Then you're going to do two for the price of one because Truist, check this out. One pull, you can get two Truist cards, 0%, right? You got to know where these things pull from. That's part of knowing your data points, right? So you get 40K from Truist using one hard pull. You do one hard pull from Citizens and one hard pull from. First citizens, you say, Dan, that's three hard pulls, but what about NIH SCU? NIH SCU doesn't have a debit card. So when you do banking with NIH SCU credit union, you can get a massive credit card at 0%. That's a soft pull, not even a hard pull. Did you know that one? Nope. The most parrots don't either. Okay. Can the church? I say didn't even know that. <laughs> so there's 160,000. Plus 140,000. I hope your life has changed. I don't want any excuses when we get to the sales page. TransUnion, I will not tell you this lender. This lender right here, I will only tell my mentees. We will talk about it next month. This, this lender will give you $100,000 business line of credit when you run $25,000 through the account for 90 days. Three billing cycles, 90 days. 680 credit score, pulls from TransUnion on the personal side, no business credit established, three-month-old LLC, 100K business line of credit automatically approved, no underwriting. I'm done. I'm fucking done. $465,000 in business funding with nine total pulls. You can max these lines out for real estate. Does not report to personal credit. You build your personal then you can build a freaking kingdom. And then you go to Joe and say, Joe, how do I leverage this for real estate to build crazy wealth and use your creative finance strategies after that? You will be your own bank and nobody can mess with you. I hope this is changing your life. Is your mind blown yet? Is it registering? Business lines of credit, 0% business credit cards, 465K, there's your funding play. That's just one. Just one. But once you know the data points in the business credit game, the sky is the limit. Do not tell me excuses that you can't afford this program. Tell me you do not want it or you do not value it. Let's just keep it real. Don't ask for a payment plan either. Use for a 0% credit card. Own it. Recap. Here we go. If you don't want to do the business side, there's 270,000 right there. There's 465. 
You build this first in the first year, you get this in the second year. We got to build this in stages, guys. This is what we do in our program, by the way. I don't know if you guys like this style. If you guys rather have the regurgitated marshmallow stuff, go for it. Yeah, it's like Thursday mornings with with Rad instead of Thursday evenings. Uh, this is, yeah, this this is our like normal call tonight too. But I'm yeah. spending time with the Facebook group. All right, so give me a second here. Spend, I want to spend at least a couple minutes before we go into q and I want to show them people kind of give them, blow them up a little bit to show them if you utilize Dan, the stuff that Dan just taught you, because we do everything with no money. Okay. But we're going to take a couple, just a couple of minutes before we go into QA. Let me run you through this. Okay. Let's go to screen share. Let me give you some examples. This is where I left off. All right. Okay. Let's, let's talk about a couple of things that, that, uh, Dan, you see my screen, right? Yeah, I see. It. I'm just getting some coffee, man. I've been talking a long time. No, go ahead. I could deploying money for maximum results and in, in this if you are going to go in and you want to spend the time do this this is all you're doing is taking taking uh real estate investing and uh putting it on steroids i know i use that a lot but i don't care because it's true you're deploying money for maximum results if you want you don't need the money to do it yeah i'm not going to lie to you we're not this is stuff this is not fluff yeah having money accelerates that process no doubt about it and I mean, let's just take a look. He was talking about, let's just use a couple of examples. 50,000 available. Let's say you had 50,000 available. That may seem like a lot. If you just watched what Rad showed you, that shouldn't seem like a lot at all. So I think he got that thing up to near half a million, uh, which was crazy. I didn't even know a bunch of that stuff. So I, actually, I didn't know most of that stuff. Okay, he, he had 50,000 available. Let's just run through this right quick. He had 50,000 available in, in credit. With first thing you do, find a fixer for sale for $250,000 that requires $50,000 in repairs. And has an ARV. This is the after repair value of four hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so this place you need to buy for two hundred fifty thousand. It needs fifty thousand repairs. It's going to be worth four hundred thousand. Okay, so you're going to be three hundred into a four hundred thousand dollar home. You put if you have fifty thousand available. I would just go ahead and put the twenty five thousand down down towards the purchase. Find a two hundred fifty thousand hybrid mortgage. Remember we talked about this before with our private money lenders, right? Right. You got to, you, you can do this. It, it's very, very, this is well within the range, well within the range. You need a $250,000 hybrid mortgage from, because we need 300 total, remember? Because our, this is a hybrid because it's going to, it's going to require the remodel. You got 25 down, apply your remaining 25 and the lender's 25 towards the remodel cost. Okay. Boom. There you go. Now you've got the DSCR refi finished project for $300,000. You, that, that means you refinance the property for three hundred thousand dollars, because we know now know that it's worth four hundred thousand. We bought it for two fifty. We put fifty repairs in. It's now worth four hundred. We know this all things. So follow me on this one, and let me know if you, if if I move too fast through this. You've just spent three to four months after you start this project. Three to four months if you start the project, you now have funds to do two more projects you follow what i'm saying there because you started with 50 you started with 50 you just made 100 okay three to four months after the start of the second project three to four months after the start of the second project you now have the funds to do four projects this is about your fifty thousand dollars let me know if you follow me on this one okay nine to twelve months this is in a year folks nine to twelve months you own seven properties, you have $700,000 in equity and $2.8 million in value. You've exceeded your $3 million in a portfolio in a year. And by the way, $700,000 of its cash. That's what you can do with $50,000. These are the things I showed you before. These are the exact same deals that I showed you before. We're now just accelerating them by you being able to access $50,000 that Dan's gonna show you how to get. You wanna see some, you wanna see some more? <laughs> Let's say you got $100,000 available. We're, by the way, each one of these things that we do, you can do the same things we were talking about before, just do more of them. But I'm just going to give you a different example in each one. Okay, this is this is kind of cool because Dan and I talked about this one time uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys. He said, one, he asked me one time, what, if I had $100,000 available, what, what would you advise me to do? This is what I would advise him to do. It's what I advise anybody to do. We take $100,000, we spend $5,000 on a marketing campaign, a marketing strategy 
that's going to attract zero equity homeowners. What are zero equity homeowners? These are the people that we talked about that did FHA, VA loans in the past two years that have maxed out their loans. These are loans that, you know, 97 to 100% and the homes have no value. I'm saying they don't have any value. They don't have any equity. They have plenty of value. They don't have any equity. They owe as much or more on the homes than when they bought them. Okay. This is people we're going to be attracting through a sub two uh, uh, campaign that we're going to be doing. Now we find we'd spend $5,000 on marketing to do that. We find the best 18 positive cash flowing homes and we employ our sub two strategy. Okay. That going in, we're helping these people out, helping them out of the position, show them how they don't have to go bankrupt. They don't have to go into foreclosure. They don't have to do any of these things. We're going to show them how to save all of this stuff and be, and, and be able to turn around and buy an, another home in 12 months or 18 months or whatever the hell it is. This works all the time with no money. We're going to find, spend $5,000 on marketing because we don't have to spend any money on marketing to do this. We're going to spend $5,000 to do it so that we accelerate the process. We're going to take the best 18 that we find, the best 18 that we find. And what are we going to do? We're going to add an incentive of $5,000 to each homeowner to accelerate your offer because they're going to have, they, they may have other offers. Other people are going to be doing this as well. So it's all going to, it's all about personality. It's about marketing. It's about relationships with people. This is how you're going to get these deals. You want to bypass that and accelerate it? Just offer them $5,000. Offer five thousand freaking dollars, and they don't care if they hate you. They're getting five thousand dollars out of a property that they don't have any equity in, and they're going to be able to go get that moving truck or rent that apartment or do whatever the hell else they want to do. Your five thousand dollars is now going to accelerate your offers over any of the other ones that are going to be at zero, including yours that you that you're going to be doing at zero if you didn't employ this. You quickly accumulate eighteen properties, and the median price of property in the United States is three hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars, national average. You have a portfolio of $6 million there. Do the math. You have a $6 million portfolio. $6 million portfolio. You just spent a hundred grand to get it. You now have an appreciation, depreciation flow of $500,000 per year. Listen to me, people. You have a, you, you got your appreciation, depreciation flow of $500,000 a year. You spent a hundred thousand dollars to get this, which easily equates, I showed you earlier, about the other one, this easily equates to a $1 million ELOC cash position. In other words, you can get an equity line of credit or just take the freaking cash. Someone would definitely pay you because this is a 2X. This is only 2X. It's worth three to three and a half Xs, but it's, we're going to hold it 2X. A 2X on an equity line or a cash position. Just get rid of it. Sell it for a million dollars if you want to. Sell it for a million dollars. Boom, it's gone. You make $900,000 off the $100,000 you just spent. How much damage can you do with a million dollars? We talked to those before, 500. How much damage can you do with a million dollars with an equity line of credit or cash when you got here with 100,000? You started with 100,000 instead of zero. See what you did? You just 10X the whole thing. Cardone special, you take the first $100,000 profit, you repay your contribution. Remember, you spent $100,000. Take the first $100,000, pay it off. Boom, paid off. Whatever you do with your million dollars, if you get an ELOC, you're going to pay it, whatever you do first. Again, we can do the same thing and just do it on a massive scale. The first $100,000 pays off the $100,000 that you spent. The rest is all yours. And then I put a PS, by the way, the $6 million portfolio is still yours too. You're still making $500,000 a year in cash flow. $500,000 in cash flow, folks. Yeah, with $100,000. And you just paid yourself off. And you now have a million dollar equity line. Yeah, unless you sold it and you just took the million dollars and walked. Would you want to do that? Would that work out for you? Yeah, I think it might. I think it might. This is the exact same situations we talked about earlier. We're just now accelerating them. We're blowing them all up with the, the credit that Dan's finding you. You got 250 available? Okay. Well, again, we can do the same things we did before with 50 and 100, but let's take it up a step. We're going to do a HUD multifamily rehab purchase. What the hell is a HUD multifamily rehab purchase? All right, HUD's housing and urban development. They have these things on their website. We can go out and buy them. Uh, these are places that have gone bad. They were, they were mismanaged. They went back to HUD. They went broke, so forth and so on. They're, you can find them around the country. This is one specifically that's available right now. There's 40 units. The purchase price is a million dollars. The rehab bid is setting, HUD has a rehab bid. That this is the remodel of the property that's going to take to bring it back into compliance of $1.5 million. Now, 
HUD has guaranteed that they will take every one of these units, 100% occupancy at $1,087 a month. So they're saying, hey, you come in and do this, fix this place up, skip this bad property off our hands, fix it up because we're just, it's not what they do. So somebody else do this and we guarantee that we'll fill it 100% occupancy. And if, you, and if there's not 100% occupied, we're going to pay you for 100% occupied. Okay, great. Now, the HUD sponsored, you're going to do the 95, this is a 2.5 million, remember, 2.5 million is what we're into this thing for. HUD is going to sponsor a 90% hybrid loan at 6.68%. So we put our $250,000 up on this project. Okay, we're going to get 90% of it. We're going to get a 90% loan for everything from HUD themselves. HUD's going to back this thing. So we're taking out that payment on that loan at 6.68%. It's going to run us $15,000. Just do the math here. Just You can just go, go through this pretty quickly. Property taxes, water, maintenance. This is our, our monthly cost. is $33,000. All right, $33,000 is what's going to be costing you. Here's your revenue. You're $250,000 into this thing. 40 units, we know what they are. There's your rents. There's your total cost we did from the program before. You're cash flowing $10,500 a month at 100% occupancy that HUD's guaranteeing. You're, you're making $10,500 a month off of your money. So we've invested $250,000 into this thing. And we're going to see $130,000 a year and a return. Is that a good return? I think so. That's over 50% return every year for as long as you keep this property. These are nice numbers, but honestly, they're kind of thin. You think, how could it be thin? That's, that's, that's inhuman. No, they're kind of thin because what else can we do? And everything in real estate investing comes down to what else can you do? What else can you do? You want a 50% return on your money? That's a pretty damn good return on your money. I think we can do better. We go out, remember we talked about JVs, limited partnerships. We do a joint venture with a corporation looking for tax deductions. Now, remember, we have a $2.5 million tax deduction set up in this property because that's you can you can deduct it over time. You can also accelerate that tax deduction and front end load it to about 30% in the first year. That's a conversation for a different day. Uh, we go out and we look at this thing. 30%, by the way, of this would be $800,000. Okay, great. So we sell it to a corporation. We JV with a corporation looking for a tax deduction. It could be an individual. It could be anybody. You, you can sell these things really, really easily. It's done all the time. We sell that whole tax deduction portion of the thing. We can't sell it. We have to joint venture. Uh, we have a joint venture with a with a corporation to take ownership. They get the tax deduction side. They pay five hundred thousand dollars up front for this. They're going to pay five hundred thousand dollars because they're going to front end load their tax deduction and take eight hundred thousand dollars in the first year. They're going to make three hundred thousand dollars in the first year off of their contribution. Who the hell's not going to do that? Right. Exactly. Everyone's going to do it. Now, what are we left with? Two hundred fifty thousand dollar profit. Because remember, we just sold our tax deduction over the life of this thing for $500,000. We're $250,000 into it. We take $250,000 profit, pay ourselves back. We got $130,000 a year net operating income. We just showed you how you broke that down. And $125,000 a year in appreciation on a 112-year average. Are you guys following me on this one? You've got $250,000 profit. We paid ourselves back the $250,000. We're still making $250,000 a year off of the net operating income and your appreciation rate. Making $255,000 a year, and we have $0 into this deal. We doubled our original investment. We already made 250 grand off that. We paid ourselves back. We're still making 100% a freaking year on an investment that has already been repaid. And we're still making 100% per year on the same investment that we turned around and now did somewhere else. Want to know what you can do with $250,000? You guys can do it all. Okay, now, are you, are you ready to leverage some 0% credit? Are you ready to leverage some 0% guys, credit? Guys, my brain hurts. This is just wow. There's no gatekeeping here, boys and girls. <laughs> this is what Let's we do. Know, whether you join or don't join, I love you. I appreciate you. There's no love lost at all. There's no manipulation tactics. Literally, I'm just trying to serve and help out somebody that served me. I'm very passionate. I yell a lot. I'm extroverted. Okay. 
I'm crazy. I'm radical. All right. You get to kind of get inside of what our mentorship is like. It's super fun. Don't take me yelling and cursing. Like, I don't love you. I don't care for people. I absolutely love and care for people. And I just hope that you see that. So I'm done yelling, but I just, I want people to understand that I'm really trying to bring a change in the financial community and even in the real estate space. And so I'm trying to find people with the same core values and the same outlook in life and the same transparency to change this system because it's not fair, it's not right, and it's really nasty, man. It's really, and there's so many ways that you can make money without doing credit repair and funding and ripping people off with crappy courses. Like, do unto others as you want to be done to you. Like, I, I didn't even know if I had the capacity to do this challenge with everything I have going on right now, but I really thank you for being here through hours of your time today. And I hope that you got something of value uh, from this that you could take away, whether you join or not. Love to have you. We want you. We don't need you. Um, but with that being said, let's take questions. And I hope you guys understand our heart behind this is to truly, truly serve you and not to just have a, a, a crappy webinar. All right. So let me take on somebody first here. Let's go 